exponents and radicals question 5 simplify here I have three different expressions to simplify okay so I'll do three of them here right so let's do the first one which is 1 plus square root 4 plus square root 9 now 1 can be written as such 1 square root of 4 is 2 you know and square root of 9 is 3 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 can be written as 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So that is simplified expression or you can also say we evaluated this equal to 3, 6. Now here we have 1 plus square root 25. So 1 plus square root 25 is 5 and how about square root of 20? Well 20 could be written as 4 times 5 where 4 is a perfect square of 2. So let's simplify this further. So we get 1 plus 5 as 6, right? Let me write 1 plus 5 now. Plus 4 could be written as 2 square. So I can take out 2. So we have 2 square root 5. Correct? So now we can simplify. We can add these to a like terms. 1 plus 5, right? 6 plus 2 square root 5. So that is how we can simplify it. Correct? Now let's do the next one. 2 plus square root 5 plus 20. So 20 can be written as 4 times 5. Correct? So why am I writing 4 times 5? Because 4 is a perfect square. So I could write this like 2 times 2 is 4, right? That is why I am writing 4 times 5. 4 is a perfect square, square of 2, right? So I can simplify this. 2 plus square root 5 plus now one of the 2's can come out. So 2 square root 5. You see, we get the same thing as we got last time. So it's up to you. What is convenient to you? You can write 4 and think 4 is 2 square. So you can take out 2 object. Or you can do prime factorization. You can write 2, 2 and 5, 2 repeats. So when they have 2 times 2, one of them can be taken out. So both ways you can think, right? So And always put equality sign here. Now 2 plus this, that is not a like term. So we can't add 2 and square root 5. So we'll write 2 as such, plus, but these are like terms. They're square root 5, square root 5. Things like 1 apple and 2 apple. When you combine, you get 3 apples. So we can write 3 square root 5. So that is this term. So that is how we can add or subtract square roots. Okay, so that is kind of an introduction to that. And we'll get into more of these soon. Okay, thank you.